and welcome tonight. We have a very active severe weather pattern going on right now with multiple with a severe thunderstorm warning off to our west for portions of Stutzman County right here again. This does not include uh, this does not include the city of Jamestown, just far northwestern Stutzman County. This storm is making its way off to the east at about 20 to 25 miles an hour. Taking a look up towards the northern par portions of the valley, we are starting to see some thunderstorms even develop over into Minnesota over here, just near Halleck and Roseau, right along the international border. But our main focus has been this cell right here, right in portions of Cavalier and Ramsey counties, where we are still seeing just a little bit of rotation just to the south of Langdon, just to the north of Edmore. But right now, looks like our biggest threat is going to be large hail and damaging winds. Hopefully this tornado threat starts to diminish. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch for the entire area shaded in yellow until 9 p.m. this evening. So this does not include Fargo Moorhead, but Grand Forks, you are included in this severe thunderstorm watch. We also have a flash flood watch because any of these storms are going to dump a lot of rainfall very quickly. And so that is something to keep in mind tonight. Again, this flash flood watch does not include the city of Grand Forks or Fargo or Jamestown, but it would not surprise me as we get into the evening hours to see this flash flood watch extended off to the east and south. Current conditions in Fargo, 89 degrees, very muggy out there with those dew points in those upper 60s, 88 degrees for us in Moorhead. Taking a look at some other temperatures around the region, 82 in Cavalier, 87 in Grand Forks, 86 in Valley City, over on the Minnesota side, 85 in Baudette, 87 in Bemidji, 82, very warm and sticky, though, even out into Lakes Country. Your hour by hour forecast, gonna pause this a couple of times, because as we get towards that nine o'clock hour, looks like this is what our computer model is showing us for where these storms are going to be, stretching from just to the east of Roseau, just west of Baudette, just north of Thief River, and it's going to be very close to Grand Forks right around 9 p.m. Then by 10, 10 to 11 p.m., that's when we are expecting it to be transitioning through the Fargo-Moorhead area. Again, greatest threat is going to be large hail and damaging winds. It looks really, with this backward C shape right here, Looks like we are going to be in for a potentially very windy night throughout the evening tonight. Then going to see continued showers and thunderstorms even into the day on Tuesday because this system is very slow exiting the region. Taking a look at our picture of the day or a Fargo hourly forecast. First of all, let's get this 7 p.m., 8 p.m. I think that's when we're going to start to see some issues in Fargo. Then Temperatures slowly start to fall off again. Those winds are going to be very strong out of the east southeast. Picture of the day from Tony. Wonderful picture of some pontoons out on Lake Light. A wonderful lake to be out on. Tony, we're going to use this for the background of our seven day planner. On Wednesday, going to have a chance for some morning storms, but doesn't look like anything that's going to be strong or severe. Tuesday, again, that's going to be our next chance. You know, we're going to have some strong storms potentially during the day on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, looks to be one of the nicest days of the week with 82 degrees, sunny skies. And then on Friday and Saturday, we are going to have some isolated chances for showers and thunderstorms. It's going to be in the afternoon. It's not going to be an all day washout, but it is going to be very warm, especially as we get into next weekend. And then on Monday of next week, looks to be very warm as well. So this is kind of the pattern that we're getting into, Andrea. But right now, biggest threat is going to be this evening into the overnight hours with you know, large hail, damaging winds. Yes. Make sure you keep it tuned right here, though. We're, we'll keep you advised throughout the entire evening. All right, and grab the app, too, the Valley News Absolutely. Live app. Absolutely. Grab the app if you don't have it. I've got it on my phone. I've got it on my tablet yes. as well. Yes. Thank you, you so much, Eric.